Welcome to Delaware County Political News. This is Larry DiMarco, your host. Hi and welcome to another episode of Delaware County Political News. I'm your host, Larry DiMarco, and today we are here with Robert Yanuzzi and Kimmy Johnson, co-chairs of the Society for Suicide Prevention. Thank you both for being a guest on Delaware County Political News. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Rob, tell us about the organization. What is it and what's the mission? We want to provide resources to families who have suffered a suicide. We want to provide resources to prevent suicides from happening. And we also want to uh, provide education to different communities that have been affected by suicide more than other communities. And you each have had a personal experience that caused you to want to start this organization. Kimmy, please share what got you interested in being a co-chair. I lost my brother to suicide in May, and prior to that, I myself have struggled with mental illness, and I think it's important to help other people and bring awareness to the subject and give support to those in need. Kimmy, I understood that you did have a loss, and I didn't realize it was just this May. Please accept my condolences, both on my behalf and all of our viewers. Thank you. Rob, I understand you also uh, had personal loss. Can you share that too? When I was younger, uh, uh, my father uh, attempted suicide and I was an eight-year-old kid and had to uh, uh, deal with the ramifications of that and um, I ended up uh, never seeing him again. Uh, I ended up uh, having, uh, getting, I was lucky enough to get adopted by, the, by my stepfather after the fact. Uh, but my whole life I was going through um, the repercussions of somebody else's actions uh, in regards to that, uh, mentally. And uh, I didn't realize that uh, I wasn't alone in my suffering. And it wasn't until Kimmy reached out to me uh, when uh, her tragedy happened to her family that uh, I realized how important it was to provide uh, a, a familiar resource uh, to, to everybody. Um, and create the organization that we, we've, we have. Can you explain the relationship between mental illness, depression, and suicide? I think they both come hand in hand with each other. Um, when someone is struggling with mental illness, whether it be depression, anxiety, PTSD, or anything else really, suicide kind of sometimes feels like an option to those struggling because they think it's the only way out of their problems that they're struggling with. Why is there a need to promote education, awareness, and the issues surrounding suicide and mental illness, Rob? Well, like, like I was saying, during my time growing up, I mean, there was a, there's a, a way that society looks upon it, you know, and, and I felt that even though I didn't, um, I am I, I am not the one that that suffered uh, I was was at fault for it and I don't think that anybody should have to go through that I think that it's uh, I mean we all go th we're all human we all go through the same uh, sort of suffering in our lives we're not alone in our suffering and um, it's very important that that we provide those resources to people and maybe prevent some people from uh, thinking that they're what they're going through mentally uh, is is to the point where it's, it's it can't be dealt with, you know. Kibby, you heard Rob say that this happened when he was eight years old, and he's now almost 40, 39, and you just had a loss recently. Did you also notice the societal, the societal attitude toward mental illness and suicide that Rob mentioned? Yeah. And how, what do we, what do you guys feel that society needs to learn about mental illness and suicide. That it, it's okay to reach out and when you're struggling with something, you know, you shouldn't be ashamed of it. And everyone goes through something in their lives and it's important to have that support and be that support for others as well. With mental health, you're gonna find that there's a lot of shame, there's a lot of regret that goes on, and um, we just want to normalize the reaching out part. We want to we want to normalize getting help. We want to, uh, we all struggle, we all go through 
the same things and we want to be able to provide an outlet for people that that need the help and want to get the help and want to help other people go through what, what we went through. Comment on whether politicians and elected officials are helpful or harmful to the cause, especially after gun violence. Well, I think that there's been uh, not enough effort to provide those same resources that we're trying to provide at the state and county level. Like, and I think that, that it can be uh, improved by that. Um, I think if, if you look at crime in general or any, any sort of societal issue that's going, going on right now, uh, whatever the topic of discussion is, if, if you tackle mental health politically, then you're going you're gonna, to you know, stop things like, like gun violence, like uh, domestic abuse, um, suicide, uh, drug abuse. I think these are all encompassed in, in mental health. If we were able to deal with the problems at hand from a perspective of mental health, then I think that our society would be that much better. After mass shootings, it always bothers me when politicians use derogatory terms toward the mentally ill. Is that helpful to the cause? No, I think it, har it it's harmful because it makes people feel ashamed of having a mental illness. I, I think words matter. I think that if we're gonna have to change, if we're gonna affect actual change, uh, throughout society and get the the right kind of help to the people that need it then we're gonna have to start talking about it just in general uh, in a different way we have for instance uh, we in our organization we don't talk about um, committing suicide or somebody's uh, we, we, we say death by suicide uh, just because the connotations can't be positive in regards to the end result uh, what politicians should be working on is uh, getting people the help they need in the form of facilities that um, need to uh, maybe better facilities because I think a lot of the facilities that we have right now are uh, are are compounding the problem. If I can speak to Delaware County specifically, uh, we need to uh, create a health department that's that's willing to to tackle health, mental health and encompass things like the op opioid epidemic and into into the mental health crisis. So Rob, you mentioned better facilities. What other solutions are there toward the problem of suicide, and what do you do in your organization? Well, we're we're currently reaching out to uh, first responders and police departments, provide them training not only for themselves but for what happens when they come across a suicidal individual or somebody going through a, uh, a, a mental health uh, uh, issue um, episode, if you will, and uh, the uh, how to deal with that. Personally, and we're also going to provide eventually provide training for uh, individuals that that want it free charge, so that we can kind of tackle those issues when they come across. So, how did you find each other and start this organization? Our town has a Facebook group called Talk of the Town at Eastern, and I made a post in the group suggesting that the town should have a suicide prevention walk. And from that point on, Robert commented and reached out and said, let's do it, and we started forming this together. And after we started, we, we realized how many people uh, have been uh, touched by the tragedy of suicide and, and uh, what a need there was for our organization. And we have uh, since got some really good people uh, that are involved in, in, in helping tackle the, the mental health crisis that's going on in our area. Kimmy, would see approximate number of people that you have in the group? Um, in the Facebook group, at least 500 or 600, but those of us who are in the committee, it's about four or five for the organizing and whatnot. And what, how helpful was it to have all that support after such a tragic loss? It was tremendously helpful. Um, I've been through a lot in my short years of being alive, but I've never seen the ma that many people just come out and support me and be there for me at such a hard time. So if nothing else, people can join your Facebook group where they can share support for each other. Absolutely. So tell us more about events that you schedule 
and ways that you promote the cause of suicide prevention? We have monthly meetings um, to discuss our plans for uh, mental health reform and suicide prevention and ways we can tackle all that together. Rob, tell me what events you have scheduled. We're currently planning a walk right now with the tentative date of uh, September and we want to uh, have small meetings with people to provide training for mental health first aid and what we're doing is we're, we're fostering a sense of community from those who are who have gone through uh, similar situations and it's helped everybody involved and we could uh, it's open to everybody uh, we would uh, appreciate uh, anyone and include them in in the in the discussion that we're having to better the the world so someone who's watching this has a need to talk and wants to get involved or wants to join the support system what do they do to get involved they can, they can send me an email uh, my email address is uh, robyanuzzi at protonmail.com so it's r-o-b-y-a-n-n-u-z-z-i -Z um, they can also reach out to any of any of the leadership anybody uh, we have a working group on on Facebook, uh, uh, just do a search for Society for Suicide Prevention and it'll come up and they can just add themselves and we'll add them up. Eventually here we're gonna have a uh, page probably within the next week where we're gonna, um, it's gonna be the, the, the front of our, of our uh, the, the, the face of our organization electronically. For someone who believes in the cause but doesn't necessarily wanna participate in the group, what advice do you have? To always give support to those around them that they love, that they know are suffering, or to reach out when they are in need and to know that they're not alone. I mean, it's important to keep in mind that that if, if somebody's going through a crisis situation that they reach out to the right people to, to get the help they, they need. We're, we're obviously there for everybody, but if they need, uh, if they go into crisis, get themselves to a facility or the people that they, they, they know get them to a facility. We'll leave it there. And uh, again, thank you for being guests on Delaware County Political News. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank you. Signing off. Tune in next time. Bye for now.